If you guys are in need of any grinding services, hit up my guy Rose NBA on Twitter. From domination to getting you guys a 95 plus overall hidden gem, he does it all. What's up, y'all? It's Ty in this video today. We're going to be going over talking about the best player at each and every price right now in NBA 2K25, my team. Now, I do want to start off this video by saying this. Right now in my team, it's hard because a lot of the really good cards are super expensive. And so even for myself, I saved up like over a million MT and people were really mad about it. Like, Ty, why do you not spend your MT? And my answer to that would be, I had all these free cards like Terry Cummings, like Tim Duncan, like Ronnie Cycli. Why would I spend, you know, 100,000 coins or 200,000 coins on Andre Kirilenko to barely be better than Tobias Harris? Like that was my answer to everybody. I'm not just going to spend coins to spend coins. So I'll give you guys who I like at each position or each price. But I kind of want to talk about, you know, why I recommend kind of going all out right now in my team. Otherwise, just use the free cards you got. Again, when you're looking at my squad here, what is it? Eight out of the cards, eight out of the 10 cards that I use are unsellable, are free. And the one, the two others are Bon Caro and Sharif. So just something to kind of think about. First guy I want to talk about today for 1,000 coins is a card that is going to go up in price. Like I, I, I'm, I'm so set on this card going up in price. It's Marquise Daniels. Now, why is he cheap right now? He's cheap right now because there are a ton of this card up. However, when he does get out of packs, he's going to go up 6'6", 79, 3 ball, 85 driving dunk, 86 ball handle, defensively stout, 88 speed. He is by, and he comes with silver on ball menace, by far and away one of the, your best budget cards in the entire game. If you are just starting this game, him, as well as some of these other cheaper options that I'm going to talk about, are definitely must pickups. I'm not saying Daniels is going to go up a ton in price. You guys can see I snipe him and, and sell him for a little bit more. I'm not saying he's going to, you know, become 10,000 coins. But to say he's going to stay at that price just simply isn't true. At 3,000 coins, the guy I want to talk about is Otto Porter. Now, he's just over 3,000 coins and honest, or just under 3,000 coins. Get him for 1,400, 6, 8 at the 2, 86 3 ball. Good steal, decent perimeter, solid enough into your speed's not great. But the thing about him is he's 6, 8. He's going to be able to knock down shots for you offensively and be okay I, you could run him as well as daniels alongside each other thing for Otto porter is you want to make sure he's not guarding an opponent that or a, a player for your opponent that is going to be good because Otto porter could absolutely get cooked at my five thousand coins we're plugging in purvis ellis in the sapphire card here find a purvis that's badged up you will never look back for five thousand coins I'd, you know, stay on this filter. If you have, find one that's not badged for like 4,000 coins, whatever. But if you do want a badged one, definitely, uh, you know, be ready to snipe it. 4,000 coins for Purvis Ellison. And even if you don't find him fully badged, it's fine. 59 three ball feels like a 75. Defensively stout, good rebounder, good speed. I'm telling you, badged up Purvis Ellison is better than uh, base Sharif. Now, badged up Sharif compared to badged up Purvis, I think is close. But he's a card, if I find a badged up Purvis Ellison, I'll buy. I'm, not, I'm, I'm dead serious. If I find a Purvis Ellison with like 20 gold badges, I would absolutely buy this card to play for me. He is that good. At 10,000 coins, we're plugging in Robert Pack here, the Ruby. I think he's a Ruby point guard. 10,000 coins, pick up this card. Look, he's going to run to the rim. He's going to be able to knock down shots. And defensively, he's not horrible because he's got decent speed. Robert Pack is an okay budget point guard. When you're talking about budget point guards, it's like him, Austin Rivers, maybe some other guys that you can mix in there. Again, try to find somebody that is going to be badged up. I know I say that a lot, but that's the truth. Robert Pack could get the job done. 10,000 coins, I think, is a solid value for the card. Next up, guys, 25,000 coins. Now, I know people are buying this Trevor Reese. I think he's, you know, you can buy this card and lock him in with it for an exchange. I don't do all that, but what I do say is this Trevor Reza for 25,000 coins or way less than 25,000 coins right now is a decent value. To me, he's like a better version of like a Lou Dort card. I don't necessarily love the comparison, but that's what I am going to do. I'm going to compare this Ami Trevor Reza to Lou Dort. Look, 6'8", 86 three ball, good driving, dunk, good ball handle, defensively solid, one out of famer, comes with that silver on ball menace. He's a beast in this game. I don't understand why more people aren't using Trevor Ariza. Like if I was just starting the game, I'd run, I'd run Pack Daniels Ariza. 
Like, that would be it, and then Purvis would be my power forward. That would be it. Might do a squad builder for cheap here soon, but that is the basis of the squad that I would be running. 50,000 coins. We're plugging in the Diamond ML card. Now, this card is interesting because you might be able to find ML card fully badged for just slightly more, but you can get this card for 50,000 coins, and he is an absolute beast. The thing I love about ML card is this comes with that Hall of Fame on Ball Menace. Going to be a perfect 3 in the option for you guys. He is the definition of a lockdown defender in my team. Now, with that being said, kind of already mentioned it. Try to find an ML card that is all the way badged up. Otherwise, again, you're going to have to spend some coins on that. But I do like ML card for 50,000 coins. I do not hate that value at all. 75,000 coins. This is a guy I would not buy. But for 75,000 coins, I don't know who else there really is to pick up. It is Jamal McClure. 6'11", 52, 3 ball, not great. Good standing driving dunk. Defensively going to be able to compete. 84 speed, 7 out of favors. I don't love this card, but I do like him because he's going to be able to compete defensively. He's decently fast. I don't hate this card the more I look at him. And the more I look at him, the more I'm like, you know what? If you can find maybe a badged up one for 75,000 coins... I don't hate it. I don't love this card, though. It's not a card that I personally probably would buy. I'd save up for a card that is a little bit better. I'll talk about that in a second. But Jamal McClure is definitely very solid. For a buyout, the best card that you can buy right now that is a buy now, I'm going to say it. It's Kyle Lowry. And you guys don't have to agree with me. It's part of the video. But if you can find a badged up Kyle Lowry for a buyout, you have to take that opportunity. You have to. This card is a really good card to add to your squad. And if you can find one that is fully badged, definitely a point guard that can help you out. I know he's only six feet tall, but he's got a great release. He's going to play solid defense because of his wide player build. Kyle Lowry is a beast in this game for less than 100,000 coins. Next up, 100 to 200,000 range. We're plugging in Chris Paul. Now, this is the problem. I like Chris Paul quite a bit more than Kyle Lowry. And so when it comes down to it, is it worth buying Chris Paul instead of Kyle Lowry? I'll leave that up to you. I don't want to be the one to uh, to say yes or no, but I do like CP3 a lot. Again, you can probably find one fully badged for right around 130, 140, and I've had about as much success with this Chris Paul card as anybody else that I have used. At that same price, we're going to plug in some other guys I like. This is the card I would save for instead of getting Jamal McClure. It is Ronnie C uh, Cycli here. Find one with an extra Hall of Famer. It is going to be useful. But this card is a card that I personally use. Got him for free in Triple Threat Park and never look back. Cycli, an absolute beast. The other card I want to talk about here for, the, again, the 100 to 200,000 price range is Jason Richardson. I feel like at this stage, this card's not getting talked about a ton. You could probably buy a badged up Jason Richardson for under 200,000 coins. And good luck finding much better value than that at the shooting guard position. Next up, less than 500,000 coins. I'm plugging in Paolo Boncaro. I basically normally do like maybe 400,000, but I want to show, oh my gosh, this card's gotten ridiculous in price. But for under 500,000, this is the card I'd pick up. Paolo Boncaro, he's an absolute beast, but I don't know what my max is I'd pay for this card. <laughs> Again, I would not, for a base card, pay over 500,000. That is absolutely crazy in price. Paolo Boncaro is right now, but card is really good nonetheless. Next up, over 500,000 empty. It's our last cards we're going to talk about. Pink Diamond, LeBron James. If, if you're spending up on a card, it, it should be LeBron James. I mean, 1.6 million coins is ridiculous. So he is not worth that much. However, he is one of the top two cards in the game right now. This price is absolutely absurd, though. Absolutely absurd that he is 1.6 million coins on this game. Coins are hard to come by, guys. They're not. E it's not easy to get coins this year. And the fact that LeBron is, if he gets another bid, is going to be 1.7 million coins. It, it, to me, is just egregious. It's absolutely in insane to me that he is as expensive as he is. The other guy I do want to talk about, Pink Diamond, David Robinson. Another card that I think is one of the top two cards in the game that you can buy right now, Pink Diamond D-Rob. Let's talk about his price. There are no D-Robs up right now on the auction house, which is crazy, but he's probably just as much, if not more expensive than LeBron James right now. Again, absolutely crazy. Absolutely, I'm going to say the word egregious because it, do it doesn't make sense. Like, yes, these cards are good. I'm not going to sit up here and say these cards are bad. But are they this good to be this expensive? They're not. They're just simply put, not this good. So I don't know why the market is so high. I don't know why LeBron is 1.5 million coins, but that's why I hate doing these uh, these videos because like he is not worth that price. 
But at the end of the day, it is what it is. I've got to uh, give you guys what I think, and, and that is what it is. But that's going to wrap it up for our best player at each price. Again, I'd really build the budget squad before anything else. Drop a like on the video, guys. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.